哦，非常舒服哎，完全不一样的体验。今天八月三十日，我们在杜塞尔多夫的展会营地啊，我们现在准备出发，准备去坐摆渡车前往展会的大厅，一会儿去看今天杜塞尔多夫车展的哦，车展的专业日子啊，看有什么新东西。My goodness, gravy happened. 这是海姆刚刚发布的一款概念车。Der Vision Venture passt in keine gängige Reisemobilkategorie. Durch die vorgelegte Windschutzscheibe, die neu gestaltete A-Säule, die Motor und die Dachhaube. 好了，我们现在来到了海姆的展台，我们准备去近距离感受一下这款新车啊。这款新车是叫什么来着？叫 D 杠 B A S F。这是一个开创性的一个设计。然后，妈妈昨天没有看到，今天这个这个品牌展厅好大呀！这个展厅几乎都是他自己的。因为海海姆集团下面有四个品牌，它四个品牌全在这地方。哦。然后它是除了非洲没有的，都有它的公司的一个纺织集团。然后这个要排队啊！现在这个车很火，大家都在排队等着上车看一下。然后我们来近距离看一下这车啊。D B A S N， 那我们先看一下它的后排。它的后排的舱门本身也是一个木质的平台。然后这地方有个伸缩的一个操作台，是可以垫烤盘，一个垫烤盘啊，垫烤盘。同时这里边有个木质的案板，然后这里有调料瓶，调料瓶，妈妈来看怎么样？然后这里有刀具的存放的盒子，然后这个是收缩的，直接可以推进去，就收起来了。这个车的质感真好，嗯、那个门上的那个皮的质感特别美。是皮带塑料的，啊，皮的。完全包皮，妈妈，妈妈刚才说这个，我以为是塑料，结果摸起来真的真的是皮的包皮质包裹，这个而且手感特别细Kind of of category actually, um, and it's uh, with in inspired by the van life community with the new layout, with the new uh, totally new material. So um, 
But I will start from the from the exterior. So, uh, as a basis, we use uh, the Mercedes Sprinter uh, based on the four wheel drive. We have a special um, painting outside, which is um, Klima Cool and uh, with a special um, uh, shiny uh, design. The materials here used in the were coming from the 3D printer. Yeah, I see the 3D printer. Um, this is the material dying. that um, from BASF is coming. As well, the the up the the, the part here down. This part is 3D printed as well. It's not printed, but it's especially um, uh, made for the four-wheel drive car. Is it? Perfect um, design for us. Of course, uh, with the cooperation with uh, BSF, we, we uh, there are many natural, naturally based, or sustainable materials. I would better will come with this uh, from when we are uh, going from the inside. The layout is quite special, actually, inside because we. It's Quite open, so um, when when it's separated when inside, when here inside there is the living area and the, the area to sleep is on the roof. And that's the only bed. That's the only bed. Right. So it's uh, for two people. Um, and it's uh, unlimited uh, usage. Which year you gonna? This is a um, concept car, and we we are trying to publish it uh, up to a year 2025. 2025. This is the horizon we set with this kind of innovation. So, um, I see lots of people are interested in this car. So when you're gonna accept like ordering? Uh, no, we don't know. We don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a long uh, now time frame. Yeah. So uh, we have to have a look how's the de development going and parts of this vehicle we will use to uh, to introduce in our uh, models now. Right. So that's the plan, and then to to, uh, to think here? about this new category of car to, to launch in 2025. Do you have any rough idea how much this car will cost? No, no, idea. no we have no calculation. Uh, so it's a, it's a concept car, so we cannot say something about the prices. But you have a, another series of planning for this category of car in the coming year, like very similar to this category. As you say, it's very yeah, we are we are already um, selling um, four-wheel drive cars like mm. the um, MLT right. or the Grand Canyon S. Right. So this is uh, this is the basis we are using as well here with right. this car. So right. the, let's say the the, the chassis from Mercedes is like we can right. that we are using here. Uh, we can we are using actually in our models already. So. Pagan是说这个是他们一个概念车，然后会在二零二五年还是二六年，我刚忘记才会问世，所以他现在也没有一个价格，然后也没有办法接受预定，因为五六年之后的事情很难说。然后它是一个四乘四的越野车，像这部
in front actually it's uh, the, the, the normal uh, basis is the Mercedes Sprinter with the MBUX um, system. Um, totally new of course is the, the layout that is like we are using the steps to go up uh, comfortably to the to the pop-up roof or blow-up roof. It's a blow-up roof. Um, which is uh, pneumatically uh, working and uh, inside pumped up with air. And how, how many seconds or minutes does it take to pump up? It takes uh, up to two minutes two when minutes. it's when it's going to be right. totally open. And how can you keep warm or cold in the winter and the summer with such material? It's it's so it's so uh, b such a big material filled with air that it's uh, also isolating inside. So um, right. and of course the, the this car is uh, heated, so um, the the the. the so you have a heating system upstairs or only we have downstairs? downstairs. Right. But the but the but the warm uh, yeah. the warmness is staying inside. Yeah. It's not going just off like it is uh, right. at the moment with the with the pop up. Right. We're not uh, losing so many temperature down uh, up there. Integrated inside is the uh, is the kitchen actually. There the kitchen. There's a kitchen inside with many um, different uh, usages. For example, we have here two. Uh, mm. There's the fridge, possibility to cool and to, to store things. And that's the freezer. It's a fridge. It's not a freezer. And other um, possibilities to store we have here. Um, already, let's say, um, a preparation for plates and um, also to take with you outside. Then of yeah, this is a small, this is a small storage, um, and um, there's as well um, a light concept, which um, is like working with the sensor that is like they are like going coming here and um, using the um, going up on on the stairs the, the light is going on and uh, okay now we have a bit more of space then uh, of course the next part which is quite innovative is the layout of the of the bathroom Mm. As you can see here, it's it's quite tiny as as a as a room itself. Um, it's not uh, taking so much space. Yeah, we have the toilet, normal toilet. We have um, of course the, the sink, and we have a special um, thin layer of uh, of this. Uh, it's really thin material from uh, made from BASF, and it seems uh, uh, very very nice. Yeah. The clue about this is that you can uh, move move it outside and like make the, all the room bigger. That's the clue about this. Okay. Yeah. And as you can see now, the, the, the room is getting bigger. Very good. And you can use this area then here to move. Yeah, maybe. Okay, then of course uh, we have a, a seating area here. There is well a table under that you, can, um, that you can, can move it here. And we have as well the huge uh, space here on the terrace, which is also it's going up, so it can, it can, go, it can close. And that's automatic, is that controlled by electric? No, it's not, it's not con oh, electric, this is, this is a manual. This is manual. Special are the, the walls because they're multifunctional. 
I love the you can set you can set the lights and all the other uh, stuff that uh, for, to store mm -hmm. on the on the place you can you're needed or let's say decorational things or um, things to store there is well a light concept as you can see we have different kind of lights which are which you can use in different situations this is a multifunctional light that you can use here in the middle for, for the table we can use it as a as a light here um, as a ambience light or outside uh, when uh, when you are sitting outside is that a electric like some central control exactly for yeah. the lights for the lights it's just uh, just that you can set different um, um, Light situations depending on the on the on day or light, mm -hmm. uh, day or night. Storage space under under the sofa. There is no storage space here. We have more storage space there on top. We have of course the storage space here in the kitchen. Right. Then of course there is a. Uh, uh, there are more. Yeah, there are more. Uh, Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
换到各种的位置，包括我们刚才看到的那个墙上的那个小架子，比如说它的灯啊。然后它的那个花儿啊，它都是架上去的。然后你可以把那个挂钩放到任何你想放的位置上。这个是我觉得就是非常小心思，但是第一美观，第一它的那个一条一条的那个美观，第二是非常的实用，这个是非常的好。嗯，好了，那我们走吧，我们去看看还有什么别的。对，但是这辆车怎么唯一的缺点就是储物的地方比较少。感谢金房房车、费城新达房车和瑞典多美达对于玩房车小队二零一九亚欧之旅的大力支持。